Hare Krishna. The world is a classroom, not a courtroom. In this world, sometimes people have a very negative, fear-centered conception of God. And mm, they think that actually God is standing in judgment, just waiting to catch me doing something wrong. And if as soon as I do something wrong, then God will punish me. And uh, now this vision is a very, uh, not just a negative vision of God, it's a negative vision of the world also. That God is not a judge, he's a guide. And the world is not a courtroom, it is a classroom. So God is not standing above, far above us, looking down and judging us. God is right next to us in our hearts. Uh, and he is there to guide us. So the Bhagavad Gita tells us that, in 15.15, Sarvasya Chaham Rudisan Nivishto Mattas Matir Gyanam Apohanam Cha Vedaishya Sarvai Rahame Vavedyo Vedanta Krit Veda Videva Chaham Sarvasya Chaham Rudisan Nivishto Sarvasya Chaham So Krishna says in every living being, in everyone's heart, Rudisan Nivishto I am situated very close, right next, Sarvasya without exception. In everyone's heart, I am situated very close. And what do I do? I From there, I give knowledge, remembrance and forgetfulness. This is for the purpose of educating us. And he does this education not only internally, but also externally. Through the Vedas, through the Vedic scriptures, which he provides. And not just the Vedic scriptures, but the various scriptures of the world. He provides wisdom that can elevate us. So now, of course, there is the law of karma and good actions do bring good reactions and bad actions do bring bad reactions. But we have to understand that God is not standing in judgment. It's not that we are left all alone to struggle to make the right choices and to avoid the wrong choices. So God is there to guide us, to educate us. And this in this world, when we see it as a uh, courtroom, we will be fearful. But when we see it as a classroom, you know, we will see that our relationship with God is a relationship of partnership. That God is our guide and He wants to help us. And with this vision of the world as a classroom, even when the world presents us with wrong options, we will see them also as opportunities for growth. Not that we claim that <coughs> not that making the wrong choices is, is the way to grow rather just as in a school there is a in an exam there are multiple choices and every time the student rejects a wrong choice that means the choice student makes a right choice and by making the right choice the student is getting marks and is on the way to becoming promoted to a higher standard so similarly when we see the world as a classroom we understand that every right choice is helping us to become elevated. It is helping us to grow. And in this way, we are becoming uh, becoming stronger. We are becoming, we are rising. So, even the moral challenges that we face, if we see the world as a courtroom, they will seem to be like an arduous choice. But when we see the world as a classroom, we will see it as a joyous choice. Because with every right choice, we are growing. Just like a student, every right answer helps the student to get marks. So similarly, every right ma uh, choice every helps us to grow and it helps us to move closer to Krishna. And with the vision of the world as a classroom, we can also learn from this world. That means not just learn that uh, people who do wrong will be punished, but we can look at nature and we can learn from nature. So what often, often what God teaches to scripture, he demonstrates through nature and this is also a very important vision in the Gita where we see the attractive things of this world and we see them as pointers towards God and in that way the good things in this world the Bhagavad Gita says that yad yad vibhuti matsattam shri madurjitam evava tatta deva vagachattam mamitejo amshi sambhava so the good things in this world when we are attracted to them we see that they are reflecting a spark of Krishna's all attractive splendor and in this way we use them to move towards, to remind us of Krishna and to increase our attraction towards Krishna. If this thing is a spark of Krishna's attraction, 
you just exhibits a spark of Krishna's all attractiveness. If this is so attractive, how much more attractive Krishna will be? Let me devote myself to Krishna. So in this way, when we see the world as a classroom, then our whole life becomes spiritualized and invigorated. And the moral choices that we get, and even the, attract to the, the, the temptations of this world, we see as opportunities to move towards Krishna. And even the good things of this world, we see them as reminders of Krishna. And in that way, we can joyfully move onwards in our life. Thank you. Hare Krishna.